practitioners. In this video, I will explain about the basic physics practicum report format. The format that I'll be explained in this video, including the general report format, which will be used in every module, and special for module 3, there will be the documentation format for the data collection. This is the general report format for the basic physics practicum. First, we have a header, including module number, title of the module, at the top right side was the time of practicum, at the top left side was your name, name or student number, class and shift, and also the name and name of your assistant in charge of the session. Next is the lab condition, in which you have to write it down according to the data given in the raw data file. Secondly, was experimental aim, in which you should write it down in quantitative points. Next is the experimental apparatus, in which you write down the tools and the materials used during the practicum. In this case, is the list of tools and materials as written in the module. Next up is the brief theory, which should be no less than one third of a page and no more than half of a page. This section must include the very basic theory and also an equation which is later used in the data processing. The fifth part is the data and processing, whose format will be given by the assistant during their presentation. The sixth part was analysis and discussion. The question for analysis is given during the practicum. For each question, you have to answer it in one single paragraph. Therefore, the first question is answered in the first paragraph and so on. And lastly is conclusion, which is generally to answer the objective or the experimental aim you have written down previously. It is allowed to write in points in order to correspond to which objective or experimental aim you're answering to. Now, special for module 3, along with your practicum report, you need to attach the data collection documentation. This file including the participant's data, which includes your full name, name, class, shift, and also the location of the data collection and the height of the said city above sea level. For example, the data is collected in the city of Bandung at the height of 768 meters above sea level. Next is the documentation results. For every photo you take as a documentation, you need to be included on it. There are at least six points which you need to document it. First is the experiment apparatus, in which you show all tools and materials you've prepared to collect the data in this module. In the description column, please describe all apparatuses used in the experiment that you're about to done. Second is a setup experiment. Please explain how you build the pendulum system using the tools and the materials you've prepared. And in the documentation, you may attach the photo of you yourself building the pendulum system. Third is the first mass pendulum system setup. Please describe how the first system works. And in the documentation column, please attach a photo of the pendulum system with the first mass being installed. Fourth is the first mass data collection process. Please explain how you collect the data for the first mass and also explain the variations of the experiment, including variations in angle and variations in strings length. On the documentation column, you might attach a photo of the pendulum being oscillated while you are measuring the pendulum's oscillation period. Do the same for the second mass each for the fifth and sixth point of the documentation. That's all for this video. Good luck on your practicum and thank you for your attention.